What up guys, Kevin here. Did you know that Jim Ryan, PlayStation's Jim Ryan, loves lying? Jim Ryan loves lying. <laughs> and not only that, he loves just calling out the whole industry. Game developers. So, look, I, I've been wanting to make videos on the whole FTC versus Xbox, but it's just been a mile a minute. Just so much stuff is being thrown my way. I'm just liking all the tweets. And I just feel like a feel like that golden retriever where they threw like a hundred tennis balls and he didn't know which one to go after. So I'm just finally picking one. I'm gonna pick this Jim Ryan caught lying again. Many times. So we had his video um testimony or whatever. Disposition, whatever the hell you call it. I don't care. I'm not a lawyer, judge, whatever. I don't care about this shit. I really don't. <laughs> Um, it's more fascinating watching the people who are reporting on it. I'm like, man, you guys are nerds. Like you guys are nerds. You have too much free time. You don't have a job because no job. Even I have a job where eh, I can take, you know, if I absolutely need to take a few minutes here and there, I can. But even then, I don't have listened to <laughs> a court case for the next week all day <laughs> and tweet about it. Absolutely insane stuff. Absolutely insane stuff. Like people need to come out and say, hey, dude, I, I'm homeless. I bought this cheap uh, phone from Best Buy, this uh, drug dealer phone from Best Buy, and I'm living behind the Best Buy. I, I, I don't have a home, but I love talking shit about PlayStation and Xbox. <laughs> uh, so this came out. Jim Ryan, again, he's a big liar. Uh, one of his concerns was that Xbox would degrade the PlayStation version because it would be owned by Xbox. Xbox doesn't like PlayStation. And they would degrade the version of PlayStation. Now, we've heard this before. We've heard him say this before. And we actually have a Respawn developer. This isn't like a team Xbox developer, or even a team PlayStation. This is a third-party developer. Uh, Patrick Rand came out and said, no game dev willingly tries to put out an inferior release with less quality and more bugs. No one would do that. We want to make things that people enjoy and will always try to ship the best product despite any circumstances. The fact that he felt that he can represent the entire game developer industry, every game developer out there to come out and say this loud and proud just shows how much of a lying bitch Jim Ryan is. <laughs> you got to remember, Jim Ryan is a lying twat. He is a twat and he loves to lie. And I heard his little disposition thing or whatever. <laughs> he was a really quiet and he was trying to... I mean, you just listen to the man talk. Like, it's amazing that he got to. He definitely has something, like, I don't know. He has that disease where he's really stupid at everything except his job. But unfortunately, he's also really good at lying, too. <laughs> I guess that goes hand in hand with his position. Um, but yeah, I mean, this guy, came, a third-party game developer came out and spoke for every game developer to say, we don't do that shit. Like he felt compelled enough to go, nah, man, you are trashing, you're trashing my industry, my profession. Nobody does that shit. And Jim Ryan knows that. Jim Ryan, I mean, I assume no one at uh nobody at PlayStation, developer at PlayStation would do that, right? They want to do that to the MLB the show, which <laughs> I've I've heard I've heard some people say that they purposely make the Xbox version worse, but you know, even then, it's like, okay, they're not used to making the Xbox version. And that's something that Jim Ryan could have said. Like, hey, hey, I mean, they're going to be more in tune with making an Xbox version than making a PlayStation version. That's going to hurt us. But no, he went as far as saying, like, the COD developers will purposely make a worse version for PlayStation. When, in fact, that may happen, but <laughs> that's because PlayStation isn't going to give... Um, the COD developers, a PS6 development kit. 
So he's making it a self-fulfilled pro- prophecy. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, <laughs> what, a, just, what a lying twat. Oh, yeah, then he came out and said that um, the Starfield was no issue, wasn't anti-competitive, making that exclusive. And he said some other things. He also said every publisher doesn't like Game Pass. That's a lie. I think Sega likes Game Pass. I think a lot of people like Game Pass. I think Game Pass just had some great drops um, just today. So just an absolute liar. Just an absolute liar. Um, But that's Jim Ryan. That's PlayStation. It's, you know, whenever I think about going team PlayStation, it's just impossible. The fish rots from the head down. It starts with Jim Ryan, who is just awkward and weird and not even in a fun way. I guess in a fun way to make fun of, but not in a not in a make gaming fun. <laughs> but like I don't PlayStation just sucks. It just sucks. They have no games, and it's like great. The next game I'm looking forward to is Spider Man. I won't care about Spider Man. I'll play it. I much rather play Super Mario Wonder that comes out the same day than Spider Man. I mean, that's just I'm looking at my PS5 right now. It's Final Fantasy 16, I guess, <laughs> machine. Um, that's a third party game. Spider Man too. Like, who cares? Who cares? I feel like Spider Man Two is for Spider Man fans, which there's a lot of, but. I don't know. Jim Ryan sucks. <laughs> he really sucks. And if I was Team PlayStation, I would root for maybe a year or two of just failures to get his ass out. To get his ass out because, man, <laughs> especially the emails coming out from Xbox, it looks like they give a shit. And they do a better job of talking to their audience and being a little bit more likable. Now, I know you're going to say, well, we won't need our guys to be likable. Well, you can have the whole package. You can have great first-party games with a likable CEO. And PlayStation, they're not delivering either. They're not delivering either. All right, I got to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.